Okay, um, I just want to mention a few problems that you might be having with HTML and how to solve those problems. So usually the, the problems that I see, the biggest problems are dealing with files. And so uh, let me go to the files and show you what might be a problem. You should start out with your web development folder. And inside that folder is assignments, H HTML pro projects, and other. We should be in assignments. If you're in somewhere else, that's fine as long as you know why and where. So my first web page is what we set up for our first web page assignments. So now, the first problem, well, I've got lots of files in here, and I've got an images folder. There's, it's okay that there's lots of files, but if there is two HTML files, that might be a problem, unless you know why. Like you have my first ped web page one, two, three, four. That's okay if you want to name them differently. But if you have one that you don't know what it is, you should probably get rid of it. Uh, you can have other stuff, and you should have at least one HTML document. But if you have two, uh, find out what they both are before you start doing anything. So close all text editors, uh, Notepad++, browsers. Close them all down and make sure your files are okay. So I'm, I know what this one is, I think, but index, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is open it in the browser. Now, if I double click on this, it's an HTML file and it's got the Chrome logo on it. If I double click on it, it opens in the browser. If it doesn't have the Chrome logo or the Firefox logo, this is what you need to do. Right click on it and make sure you're clicking right over the text. If you click over here, right click, it doesn't give you the same options. So either click once on it and then right click or just click right click right over the text, uh, the name of it. So right click, go down to properties, and right here you can change what it opens with. So if it's not opening with Chrome or Firefox, click Change and select Chrome or Firefox, either one. Microsoft Edge is not quite as good. I'd rather you not use that one. So Chrome or Firefox, great. Click OK, click OK again, and then the logo should show up right here, either Firefox or Chrome. Now you can double click on it and see what it looks like in the browser. And I'm going to bring mine over here. Now this is old, I don't have much there, so you decide if you don't need it, get rid of it. If you do need it, maybe consider moving it. Um, or if you know why it's there, just leave it there. Um, now index, I don't need it, so I'm just going to delete it. And so I'll right click and delete, get rid of it. In fact, maybe I'll move it just to be safe. I'm going to cut it, I'm going to go out to assignments, I'm going to go to something else and paste it here. Somewhere else where you can keep track of it. Maybe the other folder. Okay, now I go back in and I only have one HTML file. That's good. So I'll double click on that. And here's my first web page with my tables. And that's where I left off, so that's great. I can close that for now. Um, one other thing, text document. If you don't have an HTML document and you've only got a text document, you need to make it an HTML document. So you can just double click on it and it opens up in Notepad. Actually, I'm going to right click and edit with Notepad. And it brings it up here. And if I say, oh, that's old. Well, if that's it, if that's all you have and you need an HTML file instead of a text file, you need to change it. So I'm going to save it, go to File and Save As. And instead of a text file, I'm going to click the drop down and select Hypertext Markup Language HTML. There's a ton of them here, but look for Hypertext Markup. And now that's going to save it as an HTML file. I already have one, so I'm just going to put a 2 on the end. So I click Save. I'm going to close that. And now I've got two, two HTML files. So don't do that if you already have one, but if you don't have an HTML file, that's how you get it. You open up your text file and you save it as an HTML file. So now I'm just going to get rid of that because I just created it. This is the file I want. I'm going to double click on it. That's what I'm looking at. So I've got that. I'm going to go to my back to my files. Alt tab is what I like to do. Or you can just minimize and open up other ones or put them side by side. Now another common problem is um, actually, that might be it for now. Um, images is another animal, so I'll talk about that with the images video. So those are the most common problems there. 
make sure you fix your files to close down everything close browsers close at least anything that you've been viewing an HTML file with close those close notepad plus plus any text documents and get your files straight first you should have an HTML document I have this text document but I don't need it I could get rid of it um, Word document I used for screen clipping I need that so anything that you need just make sure you know what everything is and then you should be ready to get going or continue